If we can change a person's surroundings, I think we have the opportunity to change their life. Dwell with Dignity is a concept that I came up with a couple of years ago to help families escape poverty and homelessness through design. It's one less thing that family has to worry about, that their basic needs are met, and that they have a haven. So I knew that I had to work with agencies who already had programs in place to get homeless families out of homelessness and into self-sufficiency. So the agency supplies the physical home for us. We bring in the furniture, we do the artwork, we bring in all of the bedding. It just took off beyond my wildest dreams. It's kind of an adrenaline rush in a way. I thought that what I was creating was an outlet for myself. And I didn't realize when I put it out there how many people wanted to be a part of it. I think that when Kim got involved is when it really took off. Invited me to come have lunch, and we sat down, and she started telling me the story. And I just knew then that that was something that I wanted to help her with. She brought the design community into Dwell with Dignity. Everybody has leftover fabrics or a piece of furniture that came in damaged. And they'd call the manufacturer, and they said, do you want to pay freight to ship this back, or would you like to donate it to Dwell with Dignity? I'm here to tell you that it is way better to give than to receive. Think about the families that are coming into the spaces we're designing, and they have a long journey ahead of them. They have a big hill to climb, uh, so they've got a lot of work ahead of them. What I want to do is create a space that when they walk into, it's an immediate emotion and feeling. confident going out there and looking for work because it's comforting. It's it's home.